So in the last video, we created our gradient background. We're going to build up this profile view a little bit more now and start to play with some of the text elements. So we want to build this uh, title to up to be a little bit more, uh, more of a title, I suppose. So we're going to play a little bit with the text view. So currently we have it called profile view. And we can play with the properties of each of these. So if I just press enter and then press the, the period, the full stop, we can see all of the properties that are available to this text view. So one of the first things you'll want to play with is the font. We can find all of the system view fonts, but there are some defaults. So if I go large title or body, this will set me with preset uh, design elements. So for example, if you were doing some word processing um, and you're a Google Docs and you choose the default headline or default header one attribute, it'll set a default size. But we can override these as well. So if we go dot system, this will allow us to override. So we can define a size based on our points. We can choose a weight of our font, for example, bold. Again, if I press that, that period, I can see heavy, light, semi-bold, etc. We can also choose our design. Uh, so for this, I'm going to choose rounded because it has a nice soft feel to it. We've already defined the font weight, but there is also a font weight property. So again, I can double up and say that's also bold. Um, and of course, we can change the color. So the color is changed by the foreground color. So at the moment, I'm going to make that white. However, we may also want to have some, some uh, custom colors. So I showed you this last video, but I'm also going to show you again. So currently, we have this background. The white actually looks quite nice, uh, but perhaps we want some other complementary colors. So I'm going to go to my assets. I'm going to add in. Move this up so it's not on my taskbar. I'm going to add another color. Uh, I'm going to call this color four. And I'm going to make another one. And this will be color five. So going back to my Adobe Color website, again, look at the last video uh, if you're not familiar with it. I'm going to bring up my panel. And I'm going to use these other two colors. So I'm going to pick that color there. And I'm going to pick this brownie color there. OK, so now I have two more colors which I can utilize within my application. So going back to my profile view, um, instead of using white, I could call the color and use those custom names. So color three, let's have a look what that one looks like. Okay, color four. Okay, so we have these different colors which we can utilize. I actually think the white looks quite nice, but we might want to use these accent colors later on. So let's change this back to white. Okay, so from here, we've played a little bit with the text properties. So this is our text view. These are our properties uh, to experiment and start to design our app.